down. I got the air conditioning on. It's cold, man. What? You cold? Put on a jacket. You take yours off. Because I already got it on. So I can take you to court. Unfair working conditions. Uh, would you mind waiting until after we unload in Tacoma? All right. Better? Why? Not one of these. Amity, Adore, Faith, Trust, Spoon, Spark, Stroke. Uh, Amore. Uh, see, that's Amore. something I know a little bit about. Yeah. Next. I need a six-letter word for uh, Ripper, and it's not Terror. Not sever, it's not excise. Uh, Carver? Carver. Cheers. Cheers? I don't like that. I had the E and the A. Where do they think they're going? Beats me. What's the matter? Pull over, pull over. Yeah, I got a five-letter word for a guy that's looking for trouble, too. Dummy. Some help. Give your hand. Don't be so proud. Ain't nothing they can do. They've already done something. They turned around and came back to see if everything was all right. Not head. All bearings. I can manage. Don't. If you can't fix it, you're going to be here all night. We got blankets. There's some tools in the truck. You want us to have a look at it? We'd appreciate it. Wouldn't we, Ben? Yeah. Shouldn't be too hard. It takes a vice. Where are you headed? Down the road, sir. Well, there's a truck stop down there where you can get it worked on. Can we give you a lift? Well, now I don't want uh, something for nothing. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll pay for it by washing down that whole truck. <laughs> Come on, let's get you and the missus aboard. Uh, it is the missus, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Ben Sims, Francie Sims. Sonny Perez. Yeah. Will Chandler. Let's get a hold of this. Hey! I'll get that. You're the most hard-headed, mean-minded man in the world. You two take her. I'm walking. Benjamin Sims, you come back here.
I apologize. If you want to keep on trying to fix it and stay here all night in the blankets, all you got to do is say so. Well, I need tools. Let's ditch in the rig. You come a long way? Yeah. Going far? No. We're looking for a man. Ten days. Yeah. Want to hear some music? I sure would like some music. Over there. That's where the man is. Come for what you owe me. I don't know you. You walked off the job. Oh, no. Two people, three days, that's $60. If you don't pick up your wages in two weeks, we don't have to find you. I want what's coming to me. I got no authorization. I suppose you realize that by recent Supreme Court decision, all migratory workers come under state fair employment practices. I can take care of myself. All I do is fill out time slips. He'll have to go to court. And so will you, and you won't ship a single cucumber out of here for three months. And he's got witnesses. Send it in, they'll pay you. Good, Charlie. Looks like he got what he came for. He always does. <laughs> Good meal. I could sweep up, take the garbage out. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We're working for it's not a handout. I'm sorry. No. Rita. Uh, in celebration of the anniversary of my divorce, I am going to spring for lunch. Here's to the lucky lady. We have our lunch. Mmm, mmm, that's good, then. Compliments of the house. Thank you. I'll take your order in a minute. Mmm, 
good then. You make better. It's been a while. You will again. You won't eat it. You don't eat, I don't eat. That's the way it is, like it or not. Well, they don't eat, I don't eat. That's the way it is, like it or not. What about me, man? I'm hungry. Idaho? Don't know no other Boise. Pushed her in this chair all the way from Boise. That's 250 miles. How come? Because he's crazy. That's how come. Married to a man who's crazy. Then you find someone else to love you. Nobody else could be that crazy. That's why I stick with you, crazy man. You stick with me because you could never find a better man and you know it. Now that could be the truth. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I'll do that. Put some oil on it. Yeah. Where are you headed? On a ways. Well, we're going as far as Tacoma. That's on your way. Nope. Portland. Oh, we could take you part way and drop you off. It's only a couple hours out of the way. Can't pay you. Oh, well. That's all right. Oh, yeah, that's all right. So that's where you've been hiding it. So you don't want to left, huh? What's the matter? You afraid we're going to rip you off? Huh? Steal your money? It ain't that. He knows you're on it. How? Yes or no? I don't want charity. Let's go. I'll smack you, Ben Sim. You hold your neck. It ain't charity. It's a favor. And you're hungry. You're the one who's hungry. Well, you're the one who's pushing. I'm just sitting. Now ask him. Ask him. <laughs> What is it? She's going to be all right. That's all right, Francie. You're going to be okay. Now, just a second. You, you just sit here. Yeah. It's nothing. Just sit real quiet. I'm here. Mark? Yeah. That's why we're taking her to Portland Hospital. Portland Hospital? You've been pushing her all the way from Boise to, to get her to the Portland Hospital in her condition? I'm taking her to Dr. Calvin M. Stillwell. He'll fix her up. I'm fine now, Ben. Well, I've heard everything. Now, you listen to me. I don't want to hear any more nonsense about charity. Now, you get her in the cab of the truck. I'm not asking you if you want to go to Portland. I'm taking you to Portland. <laughs> Doctors in Boise. Good so ain't I... good enough. She's got to have the best. But I don't need the best. That doctor in Boise would have been just fine. But he wouldn't hear of it. Be quiet. It had to be that Dr. Stillwell. 
He just shoved me in the chair and started pushing. Now, you go on and say that I'm too tight to spend money on bus fare, and these pills are going right out that window, and the next time you have an attack, you can just thrash around all by yourself. Now, I've done it, ain't I? And we're just about to part, man, ain't we? And we still got that money that we saved, right? How can you hate a stubborn, crazy knothead like him? But it won't be long now. See, Francie? Portland. Sims? Francis. Yeah, well, take care of yourself, Francis. I'll be fine. Thank you. So we appreciate it. Forget it. I'll give him a hand. I'll be right back. All right. May I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. We'd like to see Dr. Calvin M. Stillwell. My wife, Mrs. Benjamin Sims. Sims? I'm sorry, I don't... Were you due to check in today? Well, we didn't know if we'd get here today, but if you just fix up a room and call Dr. Stillwell. Is your wife due for heart surgery? Yes, ma'am. She's overdue. Well, I don't find any record. Well, it wouldn't necessarily... Excuse me. Uh, have you talked to Dr. Stillwell? That's why I'm here. No. I mean, you can't just walk into a hospital and get a doctor to operate it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. Well, the doctor in Boise. I mean, you could see him day and night. I know. Uh, no, uh, doctors take an oath to see people when they I need. I know. Them. I know. But this doctor doesn't know you and Francie. Oh, but he's going to. I'm going to tell him all about us. I got the records right here. I don't here. care what you got here. The doctor isn't does... here. He's at the university today lecturing. Well, she needs to be in. I'll pay in advance. $350. The operating room alone is going to cost you a bundle. What do you mean that's not enough? Well, how much money do you need? Just tell me how much and I'll get it. I mean, how much do you need from me? Mr. Sims, I'm sorry. It isn't just that. My wife needs a clean bed. She's been sick too long already. Mr. Sims, you're talking about a very complicated and very expensive matter. He pushed her all the way from Idaho to get her here. From Idaho? From Boise. Then they're not even from this state. I don't know. No, you care about that kind of thing. Work here now. Ben, please. You don't want to upset her, do you? Take it easy. Come on. We'll work something out. All right.
Yeah? We'd like a room, me and the wife. Lemon in advance. Room 21. Check out at 2. How long you staying? One day. You know he wouldn't know where to start. All right, let's go find the doc. Let's drop the box. Beautiful. You need a woman. I got a woman. I mean a woman. It's you I want. The pills are right on that table. I'll be back. Ben, where are you going? For a walk. to get some medicine. No. Worry about him doing something crazy. He's so mad now I can kick him. Don't get excited, Francie. Just take it easy. Everything's gonna be all right. I mean, he hates it, being poor. Well, Francie, we're going up to the university to see if we can find a doctor. I think one of us should uh, stay here, don't you? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go look for the doctor. <laughs> Student, could you tell me where Dr. Calvin M. Stillwell is lecturing? He just finished. That's him pulling out now. Oh, thanks. Dr. Still. Thank you. 
they are. May I? Oh, it doesn't fit. Well, of course, I can be adjusted. Sonny Pruitt, is Dr. Stillwell in? No, oh, I'll hold. No, I'm I'm sorry, I can't do that, miss. I'll just uh, I'll come over there and wait for him. Now tell me where you've been. It's later, Francie. Any luck? No, I missed him at the university. I thought I'd go over to his office. Now, you don't have to do that. I can. Why don't you let Sonny handle it? He done enough. What'd you go and do? You ain't told me, Ben. Everything's took care of, Francie. I can make him listen now. I got plenty of money. How much money? All we need. What'd you do? How'd you get that money? You stole it. You mean he stole it? Are you out of your mind? He is out of his mind. He does things without telling me. Makes up his mind. Goes off by himself. Francie. Francie, get back here. Poison. No. Ask for charity. Oh. Francie, you get back here. You gotta be calm. <laughs> it's all right, Francie. <laughs> I got clean away. Clean away. From where? The department store. Department store? We'll just steal from a department store. A diamond ring. I pawned it. <laughs> what makes you think you got clean away? What about the TV monitors? The what? The cameras. Every bank, every store's got one. You walk in, they take a movie of you. Right now, every cop in the city's got your picture. Ben. Oh, ben. Francie, nobody took a picture of me. I'm gonna pay it back. You'll never get the chance. You gotta take the ring back. I ain't gonna do it. Well, you know something? You are crazy. She's right. What's gonna happen to her when the cops pick you up and throw you in jail? Yeah, didn't that go through your numbskull head? All I care about is my wife. Now, I'm, I ain't never stolen nothing before. Now, why don't you two just get out of here? I can take care of this myself. I'll tell him he was here with us all the time. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. That's your rig parked over there? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Well, if you had a complaint, you're violating city ordinance. You're going to have to move it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We were just visiting. I didn't know. I'll, I'll be glad to move it. How soon? Uh, give me five minutes. Okay, we'll check back later. It better be gone. Oh, it, it'll be gone. Nice rig. Thanks. He's going to give you a break. I told him I'd come down to police headquarters in an hour. Why oh, you? I promised him that I'd get the ring back for him. But then they're not going to arrest him? Not if they get the ring back. I, I told him your whole story about Francie's heart, how you traveled all these miles to see Dr. Stillwell. Now, if they get the ring back, they won't arrest him. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Okay, give me the money. And the pawn ticket. Do it. Do it. Twenty-two hundred. 
Some ring. All right, now I'm going to tell you what to do. Nothing. Don't leave here. Don't make a phone call. Don't do anything until we get back. Okay? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Tell you something else. That box is gonna get a ticket on it. I know it's gonna get a ticket, so shut up about it. It's my rig, ain't it? Routine run to Tacoma. Got a parking ticket. I got a felony rap for picking up a ring I didn't even steal. All right, well, you're the one who wanted to pick them up, Mr. Nightingale. You know why? Because you're a migrant worker, too. You no roots, no strings. You're just drifting around trying to find some place to go, just like they are. What's They're your what? kind of people. Now, well, what's wrong with that? Hey, you're not going to be able to put that ring back on by yourself, so I'll let you off at the pawn shop. I'll make the appointment with Stillwell, and then I'll meet you back here someplace. All right. What's the address? Uh, 264 Southwest Adler. OK, it's over there. Right. I'll meet you in an hour. Over okay. there. That. I think we can do each other a favor. I want to redeem this. You remember the ring? I do. Yes, you do. $2,200. That's what was loaned. That's what you're getting back. Listen, mister. This isn't a non-profit institution. I lend money at rates. Yeah, and the rate on this is zero. Your money's only been out two hours. I got a charge for the week. Oh, no, you don't. You heard about the robbery uptown this afternoon. I didn't hear about any robbery uptown this afternoon. Oh, don't give me that. Your old man called you 20 minutes after it happened. You want the ring for yourself, and you're hoping you'll never have to redeem it. You're good. Thank you. You're really good. Yeah. You might need this. Oh, come on. A cute guy like you got in such a rotten racket. It's the wrong fork in the road. You're not alone, Buster. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm Sonny Pruitt, and I'd like to see Dr. Stilwell, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Pruitt. I already told you on the phone that the doctor is booked three weeks solid. Uh, miss, I've come a long way. I know the doctor's busy, but this is in the nature of an emergency. For you? Uh, no, ma'am. A friend of mine. An emergency or in the nature of an emergency? Uh, both. Well, perhaps you better make an appointment for your friend, and if it is an emergency, any hospital will take him or her or your friend, and if it isn't, then they'll uh, have uh, to uh, wait. Miss, my friend doesn't have three weeks to wait. Well, then perhaps I better suggest another doctor. No, it's this doctor, and it's now, and if you won't let me in to see him, then I'm going to wait out here until I catch him. So it's just up to you. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Thank you. 
questions. I'm having my lunch, but I work for the government. And they want to know something about traffic circulation in this area. They want to know if this would be a very good place to put in a supermarket because... a chance, honey. That's what life's all about. Mr. Pruitt, Dr. Stilwell has just left, and I am about to. making a house call. You're a hard man to catch up to, Dr. Stilwell. You know me? Yeah. Uh, I tried to make an appointment, but I got to talk to you right now. This migrant worker has pushed his wife in a wheelchair all the way from Boise, Idaho, just to see you. Well, that's very flattering, Mr. Uh, Pruitt, Sonny Pruitt. I didn't come here to make you feel good, Doc. I came here to make an appointment. Uh, Mr. Pruitt, I can recommend the surgeon who... Wrong. This guy's got it in his head that you're the only man in the world can do this job. I'm sorry. I'm late for the hospital. They're just five minutes from here in a cotton-picking Coliseum motel. Or, or maybe after the hospital you can come by. It's if just five minutes. If you don't move that truck, I'm going to have to call the police. Well, what is it with you? What do you want? To keep my appointment with a heart patient at the hospital. Hey, you need hearts, right? Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you mine. You go see them. I'll give you mine in the will. You can use it for a transplant research. Anything I you... don't have time for jokes. No, I'm not joking. I mean... Of course, I hope it'll be a little while before you collect it, but who knows? In my business, anything can happen. I have an emergency at the hospital. I'm Dr. Calvin Stilwell. Would you mind calling the police and get them to have this man move his truck? after me. Oh, yeah? She called him after I picked up the ring. I think she wanted it for herself. Well, I still uh, had him call the cops on me, too. Oh. Interference with a medical man in the pursuit of his duties. Another nice guy. Yeah, I even offered him my heart. Should have offered him something else. <laughs> What's his problem? I don't know. Success, maybe. Uh, speaking about the problems, uh, let me see it. We're gonna do this yet. You're the college man. Uh, I 
I'd like to see you. Engagement ring. Certainly. No, it's. Uh... No, I think it's. I think it's this tray here. Well, those are our finer rings, sir. She's a fine girl. So what price range were you considering, sir? made me very happy. Uh, the sky's the limit. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Yes. They certainly are. Each and every one of them. I'd like to buy them all. <laughs> I'll give you a price. Oh. Well. You know, I think this is the one. It's, uh, Not too ostentatious, and, uh, and yet it's it's obvious how I uh, how I feel, you know. Very No, no, I can't. Hey, hey. What's the matter? Well, it's it's all right. It's just that earlier today we had a robbery. Hey, look. Where'd this come from? Huh? This ring. It wasn't on the tray. Christmas. Should we get it back? <laughs> like a bandit. Did you get the ring? Yeah. Any trouble? Uh, no, it was a first offense. Oh, I guess I'm lucky. What about Stillwell? Well, he's not available. I talked to him. You talked to him? Yeah, but he's all stacked up. Now, he said the doctor and boys, he's very good. What you ought to do is go back I there. didn't come all this way with Francie to be said no to. Now, she's going to see Stillwell. Ben, you're being hard-headed again. Well, get on a bus and go back to Boise. No, Francie. Oh, I can try a clinic. No. Why not? You know, you've got this crazy idea in your head that you're not a man if somebody else. It's you. not crazy. It's my way. Ben, it's Francie we're talking about, not you. It's her life that's at stake, not yours. Not head. Damn, I forgot about the ring. Dr. Stillwell, come in. I would have come sooner, but I kept trying to find a place called the Cotton Picking Coliseum Motel. <laughs> Dr. Stillwell, Ben Sims. I guess. Uh, my partner, Will Chandler, and uh, Francis Sims. Do you have medical records? He pushed you in that wheelchair outside all the way from Boise? Yes, sir. You're a remarkable man, Mr. Sims. I admire you. I think we should take care of this right away. Nothing we can't handle. Just something that should be done as soon as we can. Sir, about the payment. Uh, don't worry about that. It can be taken care of. But I don't want charity. So who does? I don't like handouts any more than you do. Just call it a loan. Get over to the hospital this afternoon for check-in, will you? Ben, you can pay it back later. I hope your heart's in good shape. It's all yours, Doc. You mean what you say, I'll send you a form. Take it easy. There you go, Ben. Ben. Oh, now what's wrong? Ben. Oh, yeah, it's good meeting you. 
Maybe when we get to Boise. Yeah, I expect we'll be there. Not so fast. We're going to be late. Well, what difference does it make if you kill me before we get there? Complain. If you were married to who I was married to, you'd be complaining, too. Come here. Take care. Go on. out this way if, I mean, if you hadn't uh, gone to all that trouble. Forget it. Forget uh, no, it. thanks. Thanks a lot. Now push me slow, Ben. Like it was something we just did casual. You know what I mean? Tacoma, a couple hours, three hours late. You keeping a diary? Nope. I'm taking out insurance for the rest of the trip, huh? the look in your eyes. Then look at something else. I think you need a woman. I got a woman. I mean a woman. It's you I want. Pills are right on that table. I'll be back. Ben, where are you going? For a walk. No. Worry about him doing something crazy. I'm so mad now I can kick him. Don't get excited, Francie. Just take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. I mean, he hates it, being poor. Well, Francie, we're going up to the university to see if we can find a doctor. I think one of us should uh, stay here, don't you? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go look for the doctor. 
Or no? I don't want charity. Let's go. I'll smack you, Ben Sim. You pull your leg. It ain't charity, it's a favor. And you're hungry. You're the one who's hungry. Well, you're the one who's pushing. I'm just sitting. Now ask him. Ask him. What is it? She's going to be all right. That's all right, Francie. You're going to be okay. Just a second. You, you just sit here. Yeah. It's nothing. Just sit real quiet. I'm here. Mark? Yeah. That's why we're taking her to Portland Hospital. Portland Hospital? You've been pushing her all the way from Boise to, to get her to the Portland Hospital in her condition? I'm taking her to Dr. Calvin M. Stillwell. He'll fix her up. I'm fine now, Ben. Well, I've heard everything. Now, you listen to me. I don't want to hear any more nonsense about charity. Now, you get her in the cab of the truck. I'm not asking you if you want to go to Portland. I'm taking you to Portland. <laughs> Good doctors in Boise. Good so ain't I... good enough. She's got to have the best. But I don't need the best. That doctor in Boise would have been just fine. But he wouldn't hear of it. Quiet. It had to be that doctor Stillwell. He just shoved me in the chair and started pushing. Now, you go on and say that I'm too tight to spend money on bus fare, and these bills are going right out that window, and the next time you have an attack, you'll just thrash around all by yourself. Now, I've done it, ain't I? And we're just about to part, then, ain't we? And we still got that money that we saved, right? How can you hate a stubborn, crazy knothead like him? I did in your head, and you're not a man if somebody helps It's you. not crazy, it's my way. Ben, it's Francie we're talking about, not you. It's her life that's at stake, not yours, knothead. Damn, I forgot about the ring. Dr. Stillwell, come in. I would have come sooner, but I kept trying to find a place called the Cotton Picking Coliseum Motel. <laughs> Dr. Stillwell, Ben Sims. I do. Uh, my partner, Will Chandler, and uh, Francis Sims. Do you have medical records? He pushed you in that wheelchair outside all the way from Boise? Yes, sir. You're a remarkable man, Mr. Sims. I admire you. I think we should take care of this right away. Nothing we can't handle. Just something that should be done as soon as we can. Sir, about the payment. Don't worry about that. It can be taken care of. But I don't want charity. So who does? I don't like handouts any more than you do. Just call it a loan. Get over to the hospital this afternoon for check-in, will you? Ben. 
I'll pay it back later. I hope your heart's in good shape. It's all yours, Doc. You mean what you say, I'll send you a form. There you go, Ben. Ben. Oh, now what's wrong? Ben. Oh, yeah, it's good meeting you. See you when we get the poison. Yeah, I expect you to be there. Not so fast. We're going to be late. Well, what difference does it make if you kill me before we get there? Complain, complain. If you were married to who I was married to, you'd be complaining, too. Come here. Take care. Go on. way if and if you hadn't I think you need a woman. I got a woman. I mean a woman. It's you I want. The pills are right on that table. I'll be back. Ben, where are you going? For a walk. No. Worry about him doing something crazy. He's so mad now I can kick him. Don't get excited, Francie. Just take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. I mean, he hates it, being poor. Well, Francie, we're going up to the university to see if we can find a doctor. I think one of us should uh, stay here, don't you? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go look for the doctor. <laughs> Check out at two. How long are you staying? One day. So you know, we're due in 
Tacoma in six hours. He's not a handler. You know he wouldn't know where to start. All right, let's go find the doc. Let's drop the box. Beautiful. You need a woman. I got a woman. I mean a woman. It's you I want. The pills are right on that table. I'll be back. Ben, where are you going? For a walk. I can be adjusted. Sunny Pruitt, is Dr. Stillwell in? No, oh, I'll hold. No, I'm I'm sorry, I can't do that, miss. I'll just uh, I'll come over there and wait for him. Now tell me where you've been. It's later, Francis. Any luck? No, I missed him at the university. I thought I'd go over to his office. Now, you don't have to do that. I can. Let's let Sonny handle it. He done enough. What'd you go and do? You ain't told me, Ben. Everything's took care of, Francie. I can make him listen now. I got plenty of money. How much money? All we need. What'd you do? How'd you get that money? You stole it. You mean he stole it? Are you out of your mind? He is out of his mind. He does things without telling me. Makes up his mind. Goes off by himself. Francie. Francie, get back here. That's a poison. That's for charity. Oh, Francie, you get back. <laughs> you gotta be calm. <laughs> it's all right, Francie. <laughs> I got clean away. Clean away. From where? The department store. Department store? We'll just steal from a department store. A diamond ring. I pawned it. 
What makes you think you got clean away? What about the TV monitors? The what? The cameras. Every bank, every store's got one. You walk in, they take a movie of you. Right now, every cop in the city's got your picture. Ben. Oh, Ben. Francie, nobody took a picture of me. I'm gonna pay it back. You'll never get the chance. You gotta take the ring back. Wait out here until I catch him. So it's just up to you. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. a few questions. I was having my lunch, but I work for the government, and they want to know something about traffic circulation in this area. They want to know if this would be a very good place to put in a supermarket. Mr. Pruitt, Dr. Stilwell has just left, and I am about to. man to catch up to, Dr. Stilwell. You know me? Yeah. Uh, I tried to make an appointment, but I got to talk to you right now. This migrant worker has pushed his wife in a wheelchair all the way from Boise, Idaho, just to see you. Well, that's very flattering, Mr. Uh, Pruitt, Sonny Pruitt. I didn't come here to make you feel good, Doc. I came here to make an appointment. Uh, Mr. Pruitt, I can recommend the surgeon who... Wrong. This guy's got it in his head that you're the only man in the world can do this job. I'm sorry. I'm late for the hospital. No, they're just five minutes from here in a cotton-picking Coliseum motel. Or, or maybe after the hospital you can come by. It's if just five minutes. If you don't move that truck, I'm going to have to call the police. Well, what is it with you? What do you want? To keep my appointment with a heart patient at the hospital. Hey, you need hearts, right? Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you mine. You go see them. I'll give you mine in the will. You can use it for a transplant, research, anything I you... don't have time for jokes. No, I'm not joking. I mean... Of course, I hope it'll be a little while before you collect it, but who knows? In my business, anything can happen. I have an emergency at the hospital. I'm Dr. Calvin Stilwell. Would you mind calling the police and get them to have this man move his truck? Maybe you want to get some medicine. No. Worry about him doing something crazy. He's so mad now I can kick him. Don't get excited, Francie. Just take it easy. Everything's going to be all right. I mean, he hates it, being poor. Well, Francie, we're going up to the university to see if we can find a doctor. I think one of us should uh, stay here, don't you? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go look for the doctor. <laughs> Student, can you tell me where Dr. Calvin M. Stillwell is lecturing? He just finished. That's him pulling out now. Oh, thanks. Dr. Still. Thank you. 
Why? Oh, it doesn't fit. Well, of course, I can be adjusted. Good meal. I could sweep up, take the garbage out. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We're working for it's not a handout. I'm sorry. No. Rita. Uh, in celebration of the anniversary of my divorce, I am going to spring for lunch. Here's to the lucky lady. We have our lunch. Mmm, mmm, that's good, Ben. Compliments of the house. Thank you. I'll take your order in a minute. Mmm, that's good, Ben. You make better. It's been a while. You will again. You won't eat it. You don't eat, I don't eat. That's the way it is, like it or not. Well, they don't eat, I don't eat. That's the way it is, like it or not. What about me, man? I'm hungry. Idaho? Don't know no other Boise. Pushed her in this chair all the way from Boise. It's 250 miles. How come? Because he's crazy. That's how come. Married to a man who's crazy. Robbery detail. Hi. I'm Sonny Pruitt, and I'd like to see Dr. Stilwell, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Pruitt. I already told you on the phone that the doctor is booked three weeks solid. Uh, miss, I've come a long way. I know the doctor's busy, but this is in the nature of an emergency. For you? Uh, no, ma'am. A friend of mine. An emergency or in the nature of an emergency? Uh, both. Well, perhaps you better make an appointment for your friend, and if it is an emergency, any hospital will take him or her or your friend, and if it isn't, then they'll uh, have uh, to uh, wait. Miss... My friend doesn't have three weeks to wait. Well, then perhaps I better suggest another doctor. No. It's this doctor, and it's now. And if you won't let me in to see him, then I'm going to wait out here until I catch him. So it's just up to you. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me.
second. Listen, can I ask you a few questions? I was having my lunch, but I work for the government. And they want to know something about traffic circulation in this area. They want to know if this would be a very good place to put in a supermarket because... always a chance, honey. That's what life's all about. Mr. Pruitt, Dr. Stilwell has just left, and I am about to. making a house call. You're a hard man to catch up to, Dr. Stilwell. You know me? Yeah. Uh, I tried to make an appointment, but I got to talk to you right now. This migrant worker has pushed his wife in a wheelchair all the way from Boise, Idaho, just to see you. Well, that's very flattering, Mr. Uh, Pruitt, Sonny Pruitt. I didn't come here to make you feel good, Doc. I came here to make an appointment. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm not making a house call. You're a hard man to catch up to, Dr. Stilwell. You know me? Yeah. Uh, I tried to make an appointment, but I got to talk to you right now. This migrant worker has pushed his wife in a wheelchair all the way from Boise, Idaho, just to see you. Well, that's very flattering, Mr. Uh, Pruitt, Sonny Pruitt. I didn't come here to make you feel good, Doc. I came here to make an appointment. Uh, Mr. Pruitt, I can recommend the surgeon who... Wrong. This guy's got it in his head that you're the only man in the world can do this job. I'm sorry. I'm late for the hospital. They're just five minutes from here in a cotton-picking Coliseum motel. Or, or maybe after the hospital you can come by. It's if just five minutes. If you move that truck, I'm going to have to call the police. Well, what is it with you? What do you want? To keep my appointment with a heart patient at the hospital. Hey, you need hearts, right? Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you mine. You go see them. I'll give you mine in the will. You can use it for a transplant research. Anything I you... don't have time for jokes. No, I'm not joking. I mean... Of course, I hope it'll be a little while before you collect it, but who knows? In my business, anything can happen. I have an emergency at the hospital. I'm Dr. Calvin Stilwell. Would you mind calling the police and get them to have this man move his truck? you. Me? Cops are after me. <laughs> yeah. You should call them after I picked up the ring. <laughs> 